So what we're going to calculate here is so-called departure. That would be the distance between longitudes east to west distance between two longitudes. So definition of departure would be the distance between two meridians or longitudes along a specified parallel of latitude, and that would be in nautical miles. So let's have a look. We have two longitudes. Two longitudes lying between the poles. At the pole, they converge or they join each other at the same spot, being the either the true north pole or the true south pole, being at the same spot. And you can see here at the equator, the maximum distance would be between these two longitudes. So you can see here, for example, that its distance is getting less and less the further away from the equator and the closer you get to the pole, the less distance will be between these two. Pretty obvious here. You can also see that <coughs> at the equator, and uh, you should know that one degree, you see, I'm going to change color here, one degree D long is a long is equal to 60 minutes and one degree d long is 60 nautical miles here this would be at the equator therefore one minute equals to one nautical mile at the equator while there's no distance between them at the north pole for example so as an intermediate latitude the distance would be more than zero, but less than one nautical mile between each minute. Uh, the formula for this is departure in nautical miles multiplied by d long in minutes. It's equal to d long in minutes multiplied by cosines of the latitude. So let's have a look at one question here. We have a question that says, let me change the color once again. Uh, we're at 52 north latitude. We have one position being zero degrees and another position being 20 east. So the D-long would be 20 degrees. All right. So D-long would be 20 multiplied by 60 to get in minutes. So that would be 1200 multiplied by cos of the latitude 52. And this will give you a, a result of a departure in nautical miles or distance in nautical miles of 738.8 Miles. So that would be the distance between these two here. Okay, 738.8 nautical miles at 52 north. Obviously, if you would have been further to the south, if you take a look at this picture here, further to the south, the distance would be more. Further to the north, the distance would be less between these two longitudes. Here we have another question that says um, <clears throat> we have an aircraft at 60 north, 522 west, flying 89 nautical miles to the east. What's a new position? So we have 60 north, we have 522 west, it's flying to the east of 89 nautical miles. And what is the new position? So we'll calculate this. 89 is equal to 522 uh, would be this location here, but we don't know this location here. So we don't know the D long, uh, but we know that the latitude is 60. So cos 60. We twist this and uh, we do x is equal to 89 divided by cos 60 and the x will therefore result in being 178 okay that's the x here so that's 178 minutes so we need to change these minutes these 178 minutes into degrees and minutes <coughs> that would be two degrees and uh, 58 sorry 
2 degrees and 58 minutes. We are traveling therefore from 522 west to the east of 2 degrees 58 minutes to x. So 522 minus 258 since it's western longitude traveling to the east and the new longitude, the x longitude here would be um, 2 degrees sorry about this, 2 degrees and uh, 2 degrees and 24 degrees I mean it's west longitude here okay here we have another question that says um, in which latitude is a D long of longitude 44 degrees and 11 minutes equivalent to 2000 nautical miles so we have 2000 nautical miles is equal to 44 degrees 11 minutes and we don't know the cos of which latitude it would be so we cos x multiplied by 44 degrees 11 minutes is equal to 2000 nautical miles we need to change these 44 minutes uh, 44 degrees and 11 minutes into minutes so that would be 2651 minute e multiplied by cos of x is equal to 2000 nautical miles we twist this <coughs> we twist this 2000 divided by 2651 this this year equals to cos of x which will give us a point seven five four four and our in our calculator we need to give to cos minus one or invert cos of this figure here seven a point seven five four four and we will get a result of forty one that will be therefore at long at latitude forty one two thousand nautical miles will be 2651 minutes <coughs> or d long of 44 degrees 11 minutes at 41 south or north will be an equivalent of 2000 nautical miles it's worthwhile having a look at this here then we have these two longitudes let's say we have the equator here we have 40, the equator, latitude 40, north, latitude 80, north, and the 90, north. Let's have a look. Here, the relationship of the formula, since the formula says, uh, d part two nautical miles is equal to d long but in minutes multiplied by cos of the latitude okay cos of the latitude since <coughs> since we know that one degree at the equator here as we discussed earlier one degree is 60 minutes, 1 degree is 60 nautical miles, 1 minute, 1 nautical mile, all right, here at the equator. So, in the formula, in the formula here, we can see that for one uh, minute to be 1 nautical mile, this here, the cos of the latitude needs to be 1, all right? Cos of 0 is 1. That's here. Cos of 0 is 1. And for this case here, 90, we need to have the result 0, 1, and we need cos of something to be 
uh, 0. So cos of 90 is equal to 0. That will give you the result of 0. All right. So see here, just to show you the relationship of the this calculation, cos of 40 would be point, point 0.77 seven, and cos of 80 is point, uh, 0.17. So you can see that this figure here is always uh, decreasing the closer to the north pole you get. So you can see this is the leading factor in calculating. That's the relationship between the, uh, in the formula, which is dominating factor telling you the distance between each minute. I hope you understand my thoughts in this, what I'm trying to express here. If you don't know, you feel free to send me an email and I'll explain even further. Thank you and hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe.